I don't know. This is a very serious issue. The war is still, you know, going on. You know that? Mm -hmm. And it looks like it will not end there if prayer is not applied accordingly. Because there are so many, you know, let me say, the other country is now suspecting one of the superpower, as you call them, to be behind whatever is happening there. Even the damage which has been caused there in Russia, they are pointing finger somewhere. And if you look at uh, the whole scenario, you discover that each and every country, there is some leaders who are behind whatever is happening there. And they know through their intelligence, they know that this country and that country are supplying this. You know when you are frustrated, when you are defeated, as long as you cannot achieve what you want to achieve, you will be frustrated to start now fighting whoever you know that is, this one is a suspect. Knowledge or technology is good, but if technology cannot save the purpose of God, it becomes very dangerous. I talked about this one where they are proposing to, you know, to create this uh, robot, a woman. It's a, it's, it's a very serious issue. It's not a job. They want to create a woman, you know, with the features like uh, our mothers. All this is, you know, technology. We are provoking God. But the main issue is Russia and Ukraine. Look at what is happening, the natural disasters, even in Africa. How many people have died quietly? It looks like the war is over and yet they are fighting every day. People are dying every day. The peace we are enjoying, innocent children are dying like animals. Don't you know that this is a sign of something? Hmm? Why are we not, you know, thinking about the pain of your brother and your sister? Jesus cannot fail Russia or Ukraine. In Africa, there are countries that are coming out to say, us, we side with this country. We are all human beings created in the image of God. Shall we plead for his mercy upon humanity? This is technology that are causing all this. You feel like you are a champion. You cannot be defeated by this one. You fear no one. Through that, you are killing innocent people. Solution is not to kill us. Solution is to sit down and iron out the issues at hand. But instead, they are sacrificing poor people. Have you ever had any leader that is son or is what has been killed in the war? It is us. You cannot fly. Can you fly? Your account is zero. Even your passport. You, you don't even know how to go to the embassy and get the visa. All their children are having, you know, passport with varied what? Visas. Worldwide. It is us poor people who cannot fly. Look at what is happening in Sudan. How many people have gone because of this? Where is the love of God in this world? Shall we commit the whole entire world, including our very own country, Zambia, and our president? in the hands of God Almighty. Being a leader is a privilege. For you to be a leader, that privilege is given to you. It doesn't mean that you are equal with God Almighty. God Almighty is all and is alone. He is on the throne. He is watching everything. We pray for the whole entire world. Wow. For oneness, consider your brother to be more important than yourself. Care for your brother and your sister. 
Feel for the young ones who are dying. They have never married. They have never enjoyed the life that you have enjoyed. But they are dying prematurely. And you are there boasting that, yes, I can defeat this one. The person that you are fighting is still there. People are dying. They are not the one you are fighting. Can you imagine? If I say, I want to defeat this brother, and the brother is still there challenging me. People are dying are innocent. They have never, you know, provoked me. Are you really fighting the real battle? The answer is no. God in heaven is watching everything. They stand for everything. God cannot disappoint all of us. A prayer of Elisha's man can save the whole entire world. If truly that prayer is coming from the bottom of your heart. We pray even for our leaders, politicians, to consider poor people. Because they are the ones who are suffering more when there is a conflict. He can never, never fail. He can never ever fail. He can never ever fail. Jesus is the same for me. He can never ever. He can never ever fail. The love of God. Declare the love and the fear of God in our leaders, the whole entire world. Declare the love of God. 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 In the life of our leaders, let them feel if it is their children that are being butchered like animals, are they going to feel like the, the way they are feeling now? Declare the love of God. The fear of God. The love of God. The fear of God. The love of God. The love of God. The fear of God. The love of God. The fear of God. The love of God. The fear of God. In Jesus' name. Declare the love of God. Declare the love of God. God intervention, we need God intervention in the world. Intervention, God intervention, God intervention.
goodness of God upon the world. Only the mess of God upon the world. He created all of us for his own purpose. But we have gone against his will. We are now doing our own things. We are living according to the standard of this world. This has made now Satan to be in charge over the affairs of the world. We have rebelled against him. That's why we are killing each other. We have no love for each other. No one is caring for the brother. No one is caring for the young ones. No one is caring for the poor, the widows. Father, it is your mercy and your favor. It is your mercy and your favor. We are pleading for your mercy upon the world. We are pleading for your mercy and your favor upon the world. In the name of Jesus, shall we declare the mess of God upon the world? Declare the mess of God. 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 For the poor people, the vulnerable people in Sudan, Ukraine, Russia, and the whole world. Declare the mess of God. Declare the mess of God. For that pregnant woman who cannot run. Declare the mess of God. 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 Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Abraham pleaded with you. At the time we were about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, you heard his voice as your son. Here we are, Lord Jesus, pleading for your mercy and your favor upon the world. It is only you can see beyond where we are. It is only you can see the suffering of that woman who is pregnant. It is only you can see the suffering of that woman who is giving birth right now in the world where there is war. Father, your mercy and your favor. Your mercy and your favor. We declare you alone, Father, to intervene in our affairs in this world. Talk to our leaders. You put them there for your own good. Not to destroy us, but to lead us to salvation. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. We are pleading for the mess of God upon the world, upon the poor people, upon that child who cannot run, who cannot dodge the bullet. Father, your mercy and your favor. We cry unto you as your children. It is only you can save the world. No one can save the world. No one can save your children. No one cares for the poor people. Only you, Jesus. We need your intervention. God intervention. God intervention. In the the mercy and the favor of God upon our leaders. Nebuchadnezzar was a king. And according to him, he was like a, a greater than anyone. He started now mistreating people. He was not listening to anyone. But time came when he became an animal from the palace to the bush. Being 
a leader is a privilege. God can put any leader there. It doesn't mean that you are greater than him. You can kill everyone in the world. But one day, you will face the love of God. This is a lesson to our leaders. Feel for the poor people, the vulnerable. Think about those people, the way you feel about your children. I was watching the war in Sudan. You can even cry. You remember what happened in Ukraine where they bombed a maternity ward. Mothers were giving birth, died there while giving birth. And you say, you are fighting this one. Who are you fighting? You are killing people. There's time for everything. People of God, continue, you know, to pray for your brothers and sisters. They deserve the same peace that we are enjoying. This is, you know, the selfish leaders who are now killing innocent people. Their daughters and sons are somewhere where there is peace. They are being protected with guns all over. We are protected by the power and the mess of God. Whether we die or live, glory be to God Almighty. But our leaders must feel for the poor people. Thank you.